Hey guys, what's up? It's Amanda and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Still getting used to living by the airport. So if you hear any background noise, it sounds like it might be like a giant metal flying object. Um, it's an airplane, I apologize. So today's video is actually like the first um, official non-vlog video that I filmed in the new apartment, which is exciting like well like of you guys seeing the apartment in the background and stuff so yeah um this is the new apartment um back there you can kind of see my makeup station and you can see in the mirror um my little filming setup that's kind of weird okay anyway i have a little bit of an art haul to share with you guys um i've made some amazon purchases recently and i also had to place an order on dickblick.com to get some marker like and other art related supplies but i picked up a couple fun things from amazon and i also have a really big purchase to share with you um but i'll save that for the end of the video so let's go ahead and do the dick flick art stuff first just to sort of get that out of the way and then we can move on to the more random stuff but if you guys have seen my art hauls in the past this is very much more of the same uh the first thing that i got is a canson xl mixed media sketchbook in the size seven inches by 10 inches because these are my new favorite sketchbooks of all time and i always like to have one extra laying around for like once i fill up the current one i'm working in i have a backup to start in right away i just like having that safety net of like always having a new sketchbook to start so pretty much as soon as i start this one i'm going to be getting another one so that's just kind of how i like to do it these are my favorite sketchbooks of all time i found them earlier this year and i love them they're the best so i picked up another one of those another thing that i picked up are some more colorized pencils um just in some of my favorite colors i just started buying them this way loose um in the colors that i use most rather than buying the sets and having a lot of leftover colors that i just don't use as often um i do find myself reaching for most of the colors in the set with the exception of like the yellow and the I don't think the 12 set included a white um but i don't reach for a lot of the colors enough to justify buying a whole new set so i will just kind of go over some of the colors that i purchased in here we have a brown prismacolor race pencil um well we have a few of each i think there's three of each um but i got a couple more purple ones a couple more light blues um a couple of tuscan reds which look very similar to the brown um just in the wooden form like they basically look exactly the same but um they are slightly different and i like to use both and i kind of like to layer them just because i think that it's a really good way to build your sketches um and then i picked up the uh, terracotta pencil which is also really nice to use with the brown and the tuscan red I picked up a rose pencil because I really do like sketching in rose. Um, and then I picked up uh, just the regular blue pencil. So yeah, those are the Coleraise pencils that I ordered. I believe I ordered some more no photocopy blue, but I think they were temporarily out of stock. So I will probably be receiving those on a later date and I'll probably show them in like a vlog or something. Um, really quickly before we get into the marker refills, they sent me this, which I think is just like random. I don't think I paid for this. I definitely wouldn't have like stumbled across it and picked it. Let me check my items. Yeah, so I guess they just like threw this in as a little uh, bonus. So let me check it out. So they sent me a Derwent Ink Tents uh, pencil in the shade Golden Yellow that is what it looks like i have never tried these before i've never tried anything like these before the closest thing would be watercolor pencils um and i do really like watercolor pencils um but i i know that the ink tense line is a little bit different in like how it sets and how it blends and the color intensity um but this is really nice it's definitely a versatile color um like i could see me using this for like backgrounds and stuff but i may just like try this out on a page in my sketchbook just to see kind of how i like it um if you guys want me to like record that process like the one color challenge 
featuring that pencil. I could totally do that, so uh, let me know. And then we have some ink refills, and I actually don't know if this is all of the ones that I ordered because like I said, a couple of the things were out of stock, so they may be sending them to me at a later date. Um, Pretty much what I do, just to kind of let you guys know, is I have my account on dickblick.com and I kind of just add markers to my cart or I add ink refills to my cart as I think of them. So like if I'm using a marker and I run out of it and I don't have a refill, I just go right away to the Dick Blick site and I just add it to my shopping list or I add it to my cart because it won't delete your items in your cart after like a certain amount of time, which I actually really, really like. So I can just gradually sort of put items in my cart and then once I get a good amount, I go ahead and place an order. So that is kind of what happened here. And uh, let's just pour these all out onto the old desk, shall we? And I'm just kind of gonna, gonna kind of be going through this in any old order. Ooh, oof. Wow, that's kind of incredible. It didn't like actually escape the plastic packaging and leak on anything else. Um, but I do think that this kind of ruptured in the shipping process, which can happen due to like change in altitude and stuff. So um, be wary of that. Like if you're ever flying with your markers or ordering online, this is the risk you take. But it does look like it's fine for the most part. It doesn't look like that much ink ripped, uh, leaked out. But this is the color R24 Prawn. I really do love this red. It's slightly more orange than say like your R27 or your R29. Just a little bit more on like that orangey coral side, which I do really like. So. I picked this one up and just a quick note because somebody did leave a comment on my Copic dupes video saying that like a lot of the dupes that I mentioned weren't exact or like the different undertones can um, make a big difference in your illustration and I did comment back to them because I was like I really appreciate your feedback and the reason I did include dupes that maybe weren't exact but were very very similar or even not so similar but close enough was because for those of you that are beginners I feel like you know pick one marker to buy first and then later on down the line you can complete your collection and you can worry more about like undertones within like similar color groups and stuff but um, I just kind of wanted to mention that because it was a really good point not all of those dupes were exact duplicates like these are total ripoffs why do you have two colors like that kind of thing um, but I did just kind of want to clarify that it's like when you're a beginner and you're buying an expensive art supplies like Copic markers, uh, it's important to prioritize what you want to buy first and how you go about building your collection. And I think I might kind of make a part B to that video, kind of going into that. And um, I may save it for just another Copic chat video, which if you've been liking those, um, I have a playlist and I have an official name for the series now, Copic chat series, and I think that that really fits. I will be getting back into making those very, very soon. Um, but I'm so let's get back into the refills. Um, I picked up another E41 refill. This is just a very used color of mine and there are a couple of backup refills that I've purchased, which is just crazy. Like, I have a problem. <laughs> not, not only am I buying refills, but I'm now buying backup refills. So this is just one of my most used colors and I thought it was important that I have a backup of it. I picked up an RV42 ink refill, which I thought I already had this, but I guess obviously I didn't. There's usually one marker refill that I order like by mistake <laughs> that I already had. It usually happens, uh, but we'll see. So RV42 Salmon Pink, also a very nice color. YR21 Cream, I really do like this color. I mentioned in the dupes video that this is like a very similar color to Y21. YR21, Y21 kind of makes sense, right? Um, and it's one of those instances where I do find that they are just different enough that I can use them together. Um, but if you are just starting out buying your markers, I would only pick one. But I do find myself reaching for both quite often. So I decided to pick up a refill for YR21 as well. Next, B91. I just really like my desaturated blue tones lately. I've been finding them really useful for shadows and things like that. So I decided to pick this up. Next, we have YR04. The orange marker refills have been like so hard to come by for the past year or so for me because I've been trying to get a refills for my orange Copic markers for what feels like decades and I finally have one for YR04 chrome orange which is one of my favorite oranges in my collection so I'm glad that I can finally refill it because it is getting dry and crusty. 
I also picked a Barrico for YR09 Chinese Orange, which is a beautiful stunning color. It's like, it's so vibrant and rich that it almost comes off as red at first, but then you can like, it kind of slowly starts to pull a little bit more orange the longer you look at it. So it's a really pretty color. Next we have B32. This is just kind of another basic blue color that like is really versatile in your collection. You can use it for, you know, shadows or skies and backgrounds and clothing. And it's just like blue is just a very versatile color in general. So I am collecting a lot of blue refills. Then I have one for BG99 Flagstone Blue. I really love my desaturated blue green colors as well. I find myself reaching for them a lot more lately. Shirt is choking me. Ugh. Okay, or maybe it's the choker. Oh, it makes sense. Um, the next color is BG75 Abyss Green. This is another pretty color that I really, really enjoy and I've been using a lot of lately. Uh, B37 Antwerp Blue is one that I found myself thinking that I had, but I, I don't. I have b39 and i have like b26 i think um which are similar but just not quite this so when i'm working on like nighttime scenes and like really dark backgrounds i find myself thinking i have a refill for this and then i don't have a refill and then i really wish that i did so i finally just bit the bullet and got one next yr02 light orange i really love this color as well it's a really light kind of peachy orange which is really nice for skin tones like adding kind of like undertones and blush tones to the face uh yg41 pale cobalt green was a color that i never thought i would get a refill of because i was like i never used that color and then i did use it for a background in one of my sailor moon pieces and um it was getting a little dry so <laughs> the next time i want to use it i don't want to be um out of it so yeah i got a refill for that one i got a refill for v99 aubergine which I love I love this color it's such a good color it's a really nice alternative to using black in your illustration it's just one of those really deep desaturated colors that just works so so well it's a really unique marker in my collection as well which is another reason that I was like I need a refill b41 powder blue kind of the same thing like it's just one of those basic blue tones and I like to have options when using blues as well because I find myself doing a lot of like monochromatics with blues and wanting to incorporate a lot of different blues into an illustration but still have like contrast of some being more saturated or less saturated so I like having a range of refills for my blue markers b97 same biz same biz uh c00 cool gray double zero um this is just like something that again i kind of thought i had but then i realized i didn't and it is nice to if you're if you're really trying to work hard to get a very smooth gradual gradient with your cool gray markers it is nice to have this kind of color to blend out like your lightest gray or you know you can even use it as an alternative to the colorless blender which i also do all the time b96 bush this is another beautiful color like i've mentioned i've been really into like the dark dreary desaturated colors and i like them so yeah i picked that one up we're almost done with the refills here guys next we have y17 golden yellow which is one of the oldest markers of my collection and i don't know how i didn't already have a refill for it but i do now so it's fine we're good then i have bv23 which i also thought i had a refill for it and i like could have sworn that i did but i think i was thinking of another color i think what it was is that i accidentally ordered this as a copic marker once when I already had it but I like double and triple checked my list this time so I was pretty sure that I didn't have a refill for this and I don't cool <laughs> so now I have a refill um BG78 bronze not really sure why this is called bronze um but it is a really beautiful color and again I like to have refills for the colors that i like to use most and then also the colors that i like to use in conjunction with each other so um an example of that is like bg78 and like bg75 i find myself using both of these markers when i use them in an illustration so i like to have refills for both of these markers so that way they're they're working at the same capacity like i can have the same amount of ink in both markers if that makes sense so that's what I like to do next I have e74 cocoa brown just a really beautiful brown color I really love the e70 color family it's just such a nice like 
chocolatey brown with like a little hint of taupe so it's almost a little bit more on the purple side which is really pretty next i have a refill for c2 i don't use the c2 marker a lot but i do just find again when it's one of those instances where i'm really trying to get a very smooth gradual gradient um i really want to have like an even blend between everything and my c2 marker is a little bit dry. well it's actually on the very dry side like i can even show you it's pretty faded i don't know if you can tell on camera like it's it's pretty old so i just decided to pick this marker up for those rare but still often enough occasions that i do want to get a really smooth blend and i want to refill that particular marker next i have another refill that's a backup refill that i already have in my collection because it's my most used copic marker of all time but I don't want to be in a situation where I run out of the current refill and I don't have a backup. So I picked up a backup refill for BG10. My favorite color ever. Are we surprised? We shouldn't be. <laughs> um, next I have a refill marker for B12. It's like a vitamin, right? Like B12, vitamin B12. Yeah, so you gotta have it, right? Right. <laughs> Um, and then just two more here. We have a refill for YR61. <coughs> Excuse me. Next, we have a refill for YR61 Spring Orange. This is just another nice peachy orange color, kind of like YR02, but just a little bit different. Um, and I do use them both quite a bit. So I picked that one up. And then the last refill that I picked up from dickbook.com is a fluorescent refill because I ordered a fluorescent Copic marker for some reason unbeknownst to me. I don't really know what I was thinking at the time because I literally never use it. But when it arrived, it was already kind of dry and that always kind of bugged me. So I picked up a refill for it. I was like making a big order anyway. I was like, what's one more refill? Plus the refills on dickflick.com are priced pretty reasonably. The best prices I've really seen online. So I picked it up. It's FYG1 fluorescent yellow. Yeah. All right. So that is everything that I picked up at dickflick.com. Now I kind of just quickly want to go over a couple of things that I purchased from Amazon. <laughs> Now I just kind of quickly want to go over the things that I purchased from Amazon and then I will get into the big ticket item at the very end. So just two things from Amazon. The first thing that I picked up are these uh, Kuretake Gonzai Tombi Starry Watercolors and they are hella metallic, really beautiful. I've already kind of opened them but I haven't used them yet because I think I want to do a review video on these. So yeah, it comes with six different tones. The packaging not sure how i feel about the packaging but um yeah you can see very reflective really gorgeous um so i'm excited to try them out and see how pigmented they are and use them in some illustrations uh and then the last thing that i got in an amazon order is this set of oahu markers i think i've maybe seen like one other video reviewing these um, and I don't remember what like the verdict was on them, but these are incredibly reasonably priced markers and I got them on Amazon. Like I mentioned, it comes in this cute little case. I think it comes with 36 colors. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but look at that color assortment though. Like that looks pretty good. Um, looks like there's a good range of like neutrals and colors in here, which makes me really happy. Um, like a couple of colors you could use as skin tones. And so I haven't swatched these or anything yet because again, I think I want to do another, um, review video kind of trying these out. And so yeah, stay tuned for that. Okay. And then the biggest purchase in this art haul and then a couple of items related to that big purchase. I can't pick up the big purchase and show you on camera because it's plugged in right now and it's really, really heavy. Um, but I purchased my own printer so that I can start making my own prints and kind of eliminate the need for a third party service. So I ordered the Epson Artisan 1430 wide set printer. I think that's what it's called. I will link it down below. I will also like insert a picture of it on the screen so you can see what it looks like and everything like that. That is my new printer and um, so far so good. And then a couple of other things that, that I picked up to go along with that is the uh, continuous ink system. It is like especially for this 
model of printer i believe there's two models of printers that it is compatible for yeah the for the photo 1400 and then the artisan 1430 i am still currently in the process of trying to set this up and make this work with my printer so i don't have final thoughts on this continuous ink system because I'm going to have to figure out how to get my printer to recognize these ink cartridges right after I stop filming this video. So, not sure how I feel about this, but I definitely wanted a continuous ink system for my printer because all of the prints that I printed yesterday for this upcoming comic convention I'm doing already like drained one of my ink cartridges. So, I knew I wanted an alternative to buying replacement ink all the time. Then I also ordered the continuous ink system refill kit so these are just like the bottles to refill well you can kind of see here like the um larger bottles of ink um so yeah i just kind of was like well if i'm getting the ink system i might as well get the ink system refill set too um and <coughs> again i will link those down below where i got them on amazon but like I said, I don't really have final thoughts on the continuous ink system yet. I will update you guys in the blog and stuff if I'm able to figure that out. Okay, and then the last thing that I wanted to show you guys was the photo paper that I'm using. This is just from Staples. I picked this up yesterday and I've already used one pack of it completely. Um, but it was 50 sheets for around 15 or 16 dollars which I actually feel like is pretty good for photo paper considering this is um, higher quality photo paper as well and it's a matte photo paper. I really wanted a matte photo paper. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's like better than glossy i just think that it's like personal preference and i prefer matte paper so yeah that's what i picked up and i picked up two packs of that i'm currently on the second pack right now <coughs> but yeah i just kind of wanted to share with you guys the paper that i was using for this epson printer because when i first got my printer i tweeted out that i was having some issues with like the colors not really being accurate and it turns out that it was the paper that i was using so i found a paper that i like and that the colors show up really well on so i just thought i would share that so yeah if you guys have any questions about any of the items that i purchased if you want me to do like a full in-depth video on my printer kind of once i get things more figured out i will definitely do that um stay tuned for the rest of this week's videos because they're going to be very exciting and i'm also going to be at a convention this weekend if you guys have been living under a rock here on my channel then you don't know but i'm going to be doing country world expo in santa clara california and i'm going to be sharing an artist alley table with alexi brewer I'm so excited we're gonna have so much fun we actually leave the day that you're watching this so wish us luck i'm going to have so much fun and i'm definitely going to be vlogging it so stay tuned but okay that's it thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time